<laughs> now we're going to that section of the, of, of the day where we don't have the clock behind it because Donald does that stuff. Um, but the, no, the most entertaining... Donald doesn't do that. It's our crowd that's here that... that clock. Oh, okay. It, it, it's the most entertaining. According to Donald, it is our most entertaining section where you never know what he's going to give you. You, you just have to sit back and enjoy the ride and see what he's got to say about whatever topic it is. It is that time for Rudy's rant. And, of course, I am Rudy. Oh. And I have a lot to say about who, a lot. Who? Huh? Who, who would have knew? You're who would have knew? So, uh, this is where I'm going this week. And this is almost a two-part This is a two -part situation. I'll try to keep it as brief as I possibly can because I get long-winded. Well, I did hit on this a couple weeks back when I spoke about Caitlin Clark and Cheryl Swoops. Caitlin Clark, if you weren't watching, last week broke the record for most points in NCAA, in women's basketball history. And she'll probably break the overall record for points that is held by Pete Maravich um, in the next few games. Caitlin Clark busted, I think, 49 points to break the record. She hit a logo three to break the record. I don't know how, I mean, she was hitting shots from everywhere. She was nine for 18 from three. She was 16 for 31 from the field. Absolutely unbelievable performance. And I think she also had 11 assists or something like that. 13. See, that's what, that's what, 13. what was it? 13? 13. It was hot. This is, then this is what people forget, don't want to forget to understand. Kaylin Clark is not just leading the, league, the country in scoring. She's leading the country in assists. So before people shit on her and say all she does is shoot the ball, she actually is the one dishing the ball too. So, I'm looking back at this situation. She placed a record last week, and everyone is congratulating her. You name the person, they are congratulating her. Starting with the woman whose record she broke, Kelsey Plain, Angel Reese, Tom Brady, Calvert Cheney, Brittany Griner, Gus Johnson, Zach Eady, Dane Lillard, uh, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, Jackie Stiles, who had the record before Kelsey Plain, I think before that as well, Alex Morgan, the U.S. soccer player, Billie Jean King, Barack Obama, the, pres the former president of the United States, Pat McAfee, Magic Johnson, Don Staley. These are just some of the names that I found that actually congratulated her publicly for what she did, for that accomplishment. You know who they? Cheryl Swoops. The woman who a week ago was taking a shit on her, two weeks ago was taking a shit on her and saying that she's 25 years old, is in her fourth, fifth year of college and takes 40 shots a game. She said that on the Gilbert Arena's podcast, Gil's Arena, and she took a hell of a lot of heat for it nationally. I know this because I've been on all these boards, and she is getting crucified, and she deserves every bit of it. She had the chance to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. She did not. On the podcast, she could have done so. She did not. She doubled down. She made more ridiculous statements. So recently, while she was doing a broadcast, she, I'm looking for my paper because I wrote it down. Here we go. Cheryl Swoops claims that she texted Caitlin Clark, and I will read what she stated. She says, a couple of weeks ago, I reached out to Angel Reese and had a really good conversation over the phone. And I sent a text message to Caitlin. So you called Angel Reese, but you're texting Caitlin Clark. Okay. I, I mean, if you just took a dump on me, you know, nationally. Maybe I should deserve a phone call too. I, I don't know. Um, she responded with it. And she and I went back and forth. I won't share what she said. I'll leave that to her if she wants to share. But I was so what I said to her was I made a mistake in saying it was your fifth year when it was your fourth. I mean, Nick, you're the most forgiving human being I've ever met in my life. You, you is that an is that an apology? Um, no, nah, she didn't. She she ain't. okay, man. Just, no, hey, look okay. Here. Cheryl Swoops, I'm looking. Cheryl Swoops, come out here and tell them how to rip, how you really fucking feel. Tell them you don't fuck with her, and that's what it is. You don't fuck with her. You don't like her game, and and that's what it is. I'm okay with that. Rudy's definitely okay with that. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. tell her how it T I. No, it's not. Jeez. That's what it's. So, 
if you take a shit on me on a national platform publicly, you're a po- first of all, this is not an apology. I made a mistake, it's not an apology. Because you only said you made a mistake when it comes to your fifth year, not your fourth year. You also said she was 25, not 22. She just turned 22. You also said she takes 40 shots a game. I don't care, and I repeat, I do not care what her opinion is of Caitlin Clark. I don't care if she doesn't think Caitlin Clark will be a great WNBA player coming right out of college. I don't care, because that's an opinion. You're entitled to that opinion. I respect it. I, gr- I, I Generally, I respect it. But when you're lying about people, and then you want to come back and sit here on a, on a broadcast where she was doing commentating for a, for a game and say this type of nonsense. Oh, if Kevin wants to save my ass and tell the world what we said, fuck you. Why does she not, Why does she owe that to you? She doesn't owe you that. You should have been apologizing. I'm sorry. I was flat wrong. I wasn't. I did not know. Well, I, I just thought something that was completely off. And whatever you want to say, but none of it is... I made a mistake over you being in the fourth or fifth year. Get the fuck out of here. You shit on her publicly over something. You apologize publicly over that same thing. You don't say, Caitlin, you want to come and tell the Reverend I told you? No. Did you even talk to me? Just I'll be a text message. Because I'd be damned if you freaking do that to me and I'm going to have a text conversation about it. Fuck. I, I mean, even you responded to a dumbass. <laughs> so... That was, yeah, I, I just thought that was really ridiculous. You know, you lie at something publicly three times. They have national platform, Gills Arena. Shout out. I love that podcast, by the way. I will say I love that podcast. Those guys are awesome. But you cannot sit here and say, we had a text conversation and I'll let her reveal it if she wants to. Because you know what? You just did. You revealed it. And now you want her to come back and cover your ass? And you know what she also... And so if you have a problem with her, if you don't have a problem with her, weren't you the first person to congratulate her publicly for breaking that record? The man that you just said that she would have gotten that wouldn't have been hers because she played too many games, too many seasons, blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit? Come on, man. Come on, now. Let's, 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 let's be real about this. She made some bad shit up. She lied. She got caught. She didn't think anyone's fact check it. I don't know why she didn't think that. My God, you know. And you're talking about a girl who's going to be ending and picking the WNBA draft next year if she decides to go back, you know, into the draft. Because I mean, she'll make more money with at Iowa. <laughs> but you know, it, it, she, she'll have she'll be able to pick the draft. And on top of that, saying that she won't be good coming out, would you say? Did you say about Dylan Jarasi? The last two hours, 19 players coming out of college. Well, first year. Indiana's not very good, which means Caitlin Clark's going to get shots. She walked in as the best player on their team. I looked at their roster. Their roster is nothing. They got Aria Boston from South Carolina, who was a rookie. Mm-hmm. You put her next to Caitlin Clark. That's a new fearsome ass duo. That would be, that'd be a hell of a duo. They have this girl, Kelsey Mitchell, I think was her name, um, who, who led them in scoring. But they weren't very good. Now, I think it sucks for Kaylin Clark to end up in Indiana. I mean, you hope you'd rather have her be in a big market, you know, for what she's bringing to the game. And look, if you have, if you don't believe she'll be great immediately, that's fine. I don't have a problem. Like I said, I don't have a problem with that. But when you say shit like that about how you had a conversation, man, apologize. Grow the fuck up because you know what Cheryl Swift said? She, she made her Twitter private. You think of Paul Halfley has private Twitter? Yeah, I'm running. No, yeah, yes, it becomes private when you lie about somebody, and you're probably getting doomed to death by Iowa fans. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first part of my rant. So oh, again, you, I will say again, Cheryl Swoops, if you don't like the girl, just say you like the girl, man. But don't sit here and make a bullshit. Don't sit here and say you apologize. You didn't apologize. You didn't apologize. I made a mistake. It's not an apology. I never heard, man. Gentlemen out there, if you make a mistake with your life, do you say I made a mistake or do you say I'm sorry, baby? <laughs> say both. Um, <laughs> say both. You covered them both. There you go. Second part of this one is Jane Williams. Did you see what Jane Williams said about Caitlin Clark? Yeah. Is he high out of his fucking mind? Of course he is. I am not going to go down the road that some people think because you know some people were saying it's racial. I'm not going to sit here and say it's racial. I'm going to say he's just stupid. I'm gonna say he believe. There's a lot of people that believe how how that think how he. If you don't win, people don't respect it. All right, 
Caitlin Clark, he compared Caitlin Clark. He says, he says, first of all, his first statement was, I am unwilling to say she is great yet. I think she is the most prolific scorer the gang has ever seen. I heard, gr- I heard great on levels of immortality on the Pantheon to when you win championships. He then followed that up recently by saying, all of you keyboard Keyboard courageous people that want to call me a bang or try to make fun of my career. None of y'all could hold me. I'm not making fun of Jay Williams' career. Jay Williams was an awesome basketball player. Jay Williams was one of the best basketball When he was playing college ball, he was one of the best basketball players I'd ever seen play ball. And it's very... Bro, he didn't even get it. So, so I was told the Chicago Bulls fans don't feel very highly about Jay Williams by my producer in the background. And I understand because he's a Bulls fan, but it's probably also because the guy got into a bad horrible get... motorcycle accident that ended his career after year one. Yeah, he didn't get... um, when, when, when up, I'm sorry, I was lost of an added. When up on management told me he couldn't have one. I mean, yeah, you should have ride a motorcycle if you've been told you can't have one. I agree. But Jay Williams, as a ball player, was a stud. Now, let's also look back at when he won his championship. Who was he playing with? Was he playing with the 11 white girls from Iowa? Most of which are not McDonald's All-Americans? Or was he playing at Duke and was the MVP of the finalists still there? Someone named Shane Battier? Yep. Who was an All-American National Player of the Year in high school? Oh, Mike Dunleavy, a frail five-star recruit, um, was Carlos Boozer on that team? I can't recall. I don't know if he was or not. But and Boozer was on that team. If he was, I'm I'm not sure. But I know this. I know that. I'm sorry. I know that he was. I know that I looked up that Jay Williams was the third leading scorer in that championship game. He played a trash ass game. He was four for thirteen. I know in the in the final four, he wasn't the MVP of the of the final four. He was the leading scorer of the tournament, but he wasn't the MVP when it mattered. So does that dis- diminish his championship and his greatness? No. It does not diminish his greatness. He was a stud. He was number two pick in the draft, I believe. Correct, Madden? Background for Yes, I, I could, I, I could correct. Yeah, yeah. But the Chicago Bulls. Yes. So he was number two pick in the draft. Then they would argue how good that guy was. So when he makes these statements, this is the really problem I have with this new generation of if you don't win a championship, you suck. What the fuck are we talking about? Karen Clark just set a record that will lost that girl Juju who's at a uh, USC. I can, I can. Probably we're going to stick around for four years. That's, Unless she continues at the trajectory she's at, well, may not ever be broken. Like, it will take a Herculean effort to break that record, and you got to stay for four years. You can't do it in three. So you say, you make this comment, and, like, he talked about, you know, he's from the Kobe mentorship and all that bullshit. Bro, was Charles Barkley not great? Amazing. Was calling the learn not great? Amazing. Was a, I, I mean, was Alonzo warning? I mean, look, we know Alonzo was a backup when we when he won a title. Like, let's not talk about this. Wasn't Zoe as a center to what you know started all NBA player to backing up Shaq? Mm-hmm. Was he not great before he won? Was Michael Jordan not a great player until 1991? I mean, yes, he won his a college championship as a freshman. Um, what are we talking about here? We're, still, we're literally not quantifying greatness. And then she compares it. He compares it to Diana Taurasi. Uh, Diana Taurasi played with multiple McDonald's All-Americans on her teams. Let's not delude ourselves. This is during UConn's generation of dominance. So we're not looking at saying he was playing with Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. She was playing with stars. Okay? And... I have the names. I wrote the names down. What are all my names? Shit. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Is there any guys I got, bro? Where the hell did I put this? Okay. Uh, she played with... Uh, do, do, do. Where did it go? But she played a bunch of studs. And then she also mentioned Brianna Stewart. Brianna Stewart played with Mariah Jefferson, Kaya Nurse, Gabby Williams, <laughs> Kaya we- Spanks, Kalina Mastero-Lewis. Kalina Mastero-Lewis is a national player of the year. 
Well, we, we, we can't compare. So you're comparing girls that played on with greatest teams of all, some of the greatest teams of all times and the, the greatest, the greatest program you like I don't know, has never run shit. The only reason man who's the fuck out of the right now in this basketball is because of Caitlin Clark. If she doesn't win the national championship this year, it's not because she's not great. That's like, that's like, who who that remind you of? Who's that remind me of with what? If they didn't win the championship, that would mean they're not great. But they came into the league as an okay player, but he is probably a top five player of all time. LeBron? Kobe? Nope. nope. The best shooter she- of all time. Steph? Yes. Steph, exactly. Was Steph not great in college? <laughs> Yes. Like, what are we talking about? Like, this is this step, this this commentary by Jay Williams is literally delusional. You know, if, if you're gonna sit here, how can you sit here and say the leading score of all time is not great? And she's not just the leading score, my man. She leads the country in assists. She does it all. No one's sitting there saying they're called the goat. I don't know that she's the greatest female player of all time. No. In, in college basketball, yeah, I think from my lifetime, she's the best one I've seen since Cynthia Cooper. I said that a few weeks ago. But if you differ in opinion, I'm fine with that. But to sit here and say she's not great, and then he changes up, yeah, there's great, she's great. And then she later on said she's great in the response while he's threatening keyboard warriors and shit, while he's playing the role of the keyboard warrior himself. Like you're threatening people off of a freaking another, another tough guy threatening people on video. Like, yeah, you couldn't hold me. Like, what are you gonna do, Jay Williams? Stop, stop it, bro. Like, you said some stupid shit. Everyone knows it's stupid shit. And you basically just said that anyone that never won a championship is not great. You have to tell you right now, Charles Rodgers is a top 25 player of all time in the NBA. Maybe 30 at worst. Malay, definitely top 25. They're not great. John Stockton is a top 30 or 35 player of all time. One of the best punk guys ever. He's not great. Like, that, that, that level is so done because so much luck goes into winning championships. Look at the mind. I know mean, this is crazy, but look at the mind the Hurricanes basketball team right now. They were in the final four last year. They were killing people. And yes, the difference between the Hurricanes this year and last year, they're hurt. They're, they've been hurt all year. I'm not saying they're going back to the final four, but they look like shit because the whole team has been injured. They've been missing two starters yet. People say, like, they beat about 30 yesterday. Yeah, they're missing 32 points in their starting lineup. They have a 6 name rotation. Good luck putting in that fashion that can't make a fucking layup. <laughs> like, it's a luck situation. It's like the, the Niners. Drake Greenwald gets, gets knocked out with his Achilles. You change that defense. You play football. You got its most. It's, you need the bar bounce the right way. You need the, I mean, you need the call to go the right way. Yeah. I mean, you can look back at Dwayne Wade and New Wayne. Did he really get fouled? On that, on game five? Going to the ring? Yeah. If you were a Mavericks fan, do you really get fouled? Yeah. <laughs> so, That's Jay right. Williams, I respect you. I thought you were a monster. But when you make statements about how someone's not good because they won a championship, man, you can kiss them. That's some bullshit. Because you were still great, even though you weren't the reason the Duke won the national championship. You were not the reason because actually you played like trash. They won that day in spite of your ass. Jim Battier was the team MVP, was the final four MVP. Okay. So that's why I got Caitlin Clark. I got much respect for your game. And now I'm really tired of it. I'm going to be real. This is, this is why, you know, the, the swoops thing was there's only, there's only so many decent white basketball players in the world. Who are American, not Europeans, but American basketball players? Why are you so flipping? Uh, what's the word? Why are you so triggered or so afraid of that one girl or that one guy being so fucking good? Like, it's rare. It's rare. Boy, the league is like 85% black in the NBA, probably more than that. I mean, I think Miley's got more white dudes than anyone. <laughs> we got a Mexican guy, actually. <laughs> I mean, they're not just, um, what, are you getting, like, what, what are you getting so upset about because a white girl is good? Like, it, 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 it helps your game. If some, 
I, I don't get that thing. Like, don't be threatened by it. Like, the reality is there's one Caitlyn Clark. There won't be too many others, if ever. So, Cheryl, you're still great. Cheryl Soups, you're still a great player. I loved when you played. You were awesome. But, man, what are you so, what are you bothered by? Like, God forbid the white girl's pretty that damn good. Get the fuck out of here. Stop it. So, I said, uh, what I got for Rudy's rap today.